Hey everybody, here at the Dragon again. Uh, for this video, I was going to talk about what emergency supplies I carry in my backpack um, for primarily when I go to school, but I also occasionally carry it around town. This is just kind of my my everyday backpack. Now, uh, this is the uh, Timbuktu Spire, I believe. Uh, Timbuktu is a pack company that comes out of San Francisco, although I do believe their products are made overseas. Um, the outer material on the top is kind of like a tarp material. It's supposed to be waterproof. Um, and so far, in the times I've taken out in the rain, it has held up quite nicely. Uh, no water seeped through at all. Um, now, the things I kind of like about the backpack is, even though it's a good urban backpack, it does have molly compatible webbing on it. Also has molly compatible webbing on uh, the one side right here. Um, it also has a place that you can actually stuff your U-lock. So this right here actually unveils, and you can stick a U-lock underneath and through the bottom here. Uh, so that's also very useful. Now, as far as uh, pockets, you have the one front pocket here. You have a little small pocket here, which currently I have my Kindle Paperwhite in. And internally, you have space to hold your laptop, a tablet, and then a large open space where I've held probably like four or five books, a jacket, a windbreaker, and a small umbrella. Uh, so it has a decent amount of room, I believe somewhere around 27 liters uh, as far as its carrying space. Um, so I'll kind of go through what I keep on the inside uh, every day and then I'll kind of move to the outer pocket where I keep most of my emergency supplies. So in here I keep an Anker uh, battery pack. This one here is 10,000 uh, milliamps. Uh, so pretty much I can charge my phone uh, about three times solidly, about three and a half times. And I have, currently have a Samsung Galaxy 4S. So there's that. Package of tissues for if you ever get uh, runny nose or small messes. Uh, stylus. USB for the Anker charger. Let's see what else do I have in here currently. Book marker. Small uh, hotel sewing kit so I can make. Uh, repairs, whether it be like if I get to tear my clothes or anything like that. Pencil, marker, a laser pointer for when I'm giving presentations. And then although I don't currently have it in here, I'll usually also keep a pen and a couple other small odds and ends. But nothing too major on the inside that I keep always there. Uh, just some basic essentials. And then as I said, it does have space to hold about uh, two or three, about two to three inch books, um, obviously, as wide as necessary. And then I've held an uh, uh, insulated jacket, um, a rain jacket, and an uh, umbrella. And all that fit in here fine, with also carrying a, uh, I believe it's a 12 inch laptop, and then a 10 inch tablet. So it has a decent amount of room on the inside. It's very simple. It's the one basic opening with a small compartment right here to put things. And then on the bottom side, you have lightly padded sleeves for your uh, laptop and for your um, tablet. Uh, keep a water bottle on the side. Currently, it's a King's water bottle that I got for free. But there's uh, pretty much I'll keep like a clean canteen or something on the side. Uh, it can hold up to a 40 ounce bottle pretty easily. Uh, I found personally that since it doesn't have a pocket on the other side to balance the weight, I prefer to carry no more than 24 ounce uh, water bottles on the side uh, just because it starts to pull to that side. So I currently have this bottle, but whatever bottle I have at the time will do. Uh, on the front, as it was already shown, I have a black diamond locking carabiner. Um, I've used it to hold up my pack, multiple uses easily able to be found online. I think it costs somewhere between seven and ten dollars. Let's get into the actual pack. Okay, in the front pocket, I have a Maxpedition pocket organizer. I'll go into that in a minute. A uh, 
uh, disposable poncho, survive outdoors longer survival blanket. Uh, this is for one to two people. First aid kit, a one liter platypus bag. Cliff Crunch Bars, currently, I, usually I keep three or four of those in there, currently I've only got one because I've been using them throughout the semester. Stainless Steel Straw, uh, which has multiple uses. A hank of Paracord, and a tube scarf. This one here is made by Nordic Essentials, uh, but it's just basically one of those kind of stretchy uh, tube scarves. Like a, uh, kind of like a buff is the most common brand. And then a Hemnesis bag. So I was sick during the winter, so I kept this with me, but I realized that it could also be used to hold an extra, about 40 to 60 ounces of water if need be. Uh, good multi-use. Uh, it's relatively durable. Um, so for that, I've decided to keep it in. I believe yeah, that is correct. Now. now, in the medical kit, um, this one here is the Adventure Medical Kits uh, 0.3. Um, it just basically has a couple of butterflies, some tape, uh, some basic knuckle and uh, basic band-aids, uh, gauze, um, and then antiseptic, towelette, ointment, ibuprofen, antihistamine, uh, moleskin, alcohol swabs, uh, and little uh, tweezers. And then I've thrown a couple other things in there, um, just some more like Advil and Tylenol. Um, nothing too major, just it's for small emergencies. I believe I also have uh, some super glue in there in case there's something that's a slightly more uh, robust uh, injury that I need to kind of, uh, kind of close up. I also on the front of the Maxpedition pocket organizer have another little extra one which has uh, like Neosporin, sunblock and some extra band-aids and some I think like twenty dollars of miscellaneous money uh, and that's pretty much for those aspects now inside the Maxpedition I have a paracord bracelet an extra pencil a solar powered push light and then a hand sanitizer for sterilization purposes. And then on the inside here, I have a Bright and Rain journal. I have two max pads. They have multiple uses. Uh, if you look online, they're good for stopping uh, bleeding, obviously, but yeah, they're just good multi-use items. They're super light, easy to carry around. Uh, bandana, another multi-use item. And then in here, I keep a Leatherman Wingman. Uh, there are better Leathermans out there, or there's ones that have more functionality, but uh, for basic, there should be more than enough. Um, obviously, pliers, wire cutters, and then it has a decent pair of scissors, a couple of screwdriver bits, a bottle and can opener, and a relatively decent, partially serrated knife. Um, so yeah, definitely a useful tool to keep. Uh, here is an SC Azula uh, with a Kydex sheath. This one here is made by Sheath Mechanic. I picked it up from somebody online for five bucks. It's got the TKC scales for added comfort and a neck lanyard. And then, yeah, uh, very good small fixed blade. Uh, it's definitely one of my uh, favorites. It's virtually indestructible. Uh, it takes a lot of abuse. I've had this one for uh, a couple years now, and I've just uh, recently put it in here. I used to have a folding knife in here, but I wanted something a little more durable and this should be more than adequate to do the job. As I said, this is just for emergency situations. Um, now as such, uh, in California at schools, you're not supposed to have a fixed blade knives. Technically, in most cases, you're not supposed to have many knives at all. But I usually, as I said, I keep it uh, hidden in my backpack, in this case for emergencies. Uh, if it ever needs to be used, um, it's going to be a reason that it absolutely has to be used whistle for signaling, mints just for a little extra sugar, uh, 
wet wipes for cleaning up messages, uh, messes, and then MSR aqua tabs for water for purification, which would be used with the platypus in case we need to sterilize water. Um, it's not a ton of stuff, uh, but I feel personally for if I'm out and about, this will easily uh, tide me over until minimally I get to my car or to get home, uh, both of which have their own personal kits. Um, my car kit is easy enough that I can do two to three days backpacking or camping with it without any issue. This should easily get me there. And then this doesn't even uh, count what I carry on my person. So on my person, I'll always have an extra uh, folding knife. In this case, I have a spider co. Um, and then I also have an extra mini multi-tool. This one here is the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Um, I always carry a lighter on me cell phone, extra flashlight. This one here is the Phoenix LD02. As I keep an extra big lighter. So all this stuff should be more than enough. Um, as I said, usually I carry a couple more cliff bars and those pretty much uh, allow me to eat for one day. Um, this will be filled so I'll have enough fluid for a day. Uh, so I should be able to easily go three days with this. And then if I need to do anything like basic minimal medical, if I need to keep warm and have shelter, I have that covered. Um, I basically have the five C's and a little bit more. So it's like I've got my cutting tool, my cordage, uh, my combustion, I have a covering and a container. So I have my basic five C's and more. Um, but yeah, this is where I carry. Uh, the most likely scenario that I will have is an earthquake. Um, but with today's day and age, you'll never know what other options are available uh, or anything that can happen. Um, so yeah, if there's anything you guys think would be good to add to this kit or if you like this kit, uh, feel free to comment or ask any questions. Uh, most of this is supposed to be, as I said, it, it's compact, fits in the front pocket. Uh, it doesn't weigh down my backpack too much. Most of the stuff is relatively lightweight. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts and opinions? Uh, what other things do you guys think would help uh, add to the versatility of this kit. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. I look forward to your comments and your likes. Thank you very much.